Welcome back to another episode of Ask Com. I'm Mariko with Pete, answering your question about Project Fugu. So, from Twitter, Duncan wants to know Can Fugu brew my tea? I love this question because it kind of feels like somebody's maybe trolling me, but the answer <laughs> is yes. Web Serial is one of the APIs that we're working on. And with Web Serial, you can easily communicate with things like Arduinos and other maker hardware. And so with a little bit of like wiring and soldering, you could probably put together an Arduino that would boil your water for you, drop the tea basket in, and make your tea. So yes, you actually could do this on the web. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I'm really excited about all the opportunities that Web Serial opens for makers and other sort of tinkerers who are going to go and build all sorts of cool stuff. But Web Serial goes beyond just that. There's some real interesting and good use cases for educational lab equipment. Most of the educational lab equipment that's out there is actually serial based. So that sensor or thermometer that a teacher might have in their classroom uses serial. And in order to use that today, they have to install binaries or admin access on their computers and it gets to be a bit of a pain. Well, with Web Serial, you can directly plug that right in and use it straight from the browser. So it's a really cool, easy way to be able to do that. Right. Like, I feel like every time I ask questions, you have like another API and another new API. <laughs> but is there more APIs that you're excited about? There's a ton of stuff. And like, remember, the overarching goal here is to allow developers to build all kinds of applications. So everything that we're doing is really about enabling these new scenarios. So there's things like the contact picker that I've mentioned before, file system. But there's also things like Web NFC that allows you to communicate with NFC devices. You can imagine that maybe working so you could open a hotel room door or for industrial uses where you're checking to see how many items are in a pallet. There's things like wake lock, which as somebody who does a lot of presentations, I find that if I leave a slide up too long, the computer screensaver kicks in and I have to be like, oh, go on, type in my password. It gets a little awkward. Well, with wake lock, I can tell the browser, the, the app can tell the browser, do not kick the screensaver in. This is really important. There's things like for apps that might have multiple windows. So again, that, that presentation is a really good one where you want to have your slide notes on one screen and your presentation on another. You can say, hey, what windows are available? Uh, there's things like the web font APIs that allow you to get the list of installed fonts on the user's device so that you can use them more easily within your app. And of course, there's a whole ton more. That goo.gle slash fugu API tracker is the best place to get all the list of APIs. Awesome. Well, thank you, Pete. That's all the time we have this time. Uh, we'll be back soon with the next episode of Ask Chrome, answering more of your questions.